Hi everyone, welcome. Today we're working on the letter W for where the wild things are. We're gonna be making a wild thing mask. So get out your templates and your craft supplies and let's get started. All right, in front of me I have my paper plate where I have my template drawing on top. We're going to be cutting it out. The first thing I'm going to do is take my scissors out and very carefully I'm going to be snipping right there. We're gonna go back and tape this later, but for now, let's just cut around our shape. So take out your scissors and very slowly and very carefully cut around the lines. Wonderful. Remembering to keep our hands out of the way. Being very mindful of our fingers. And around and around we go until we've done the whole thing. And we can just put this to the side. And now we have this shape. So now all we're going to do is we're going to be taking the color that is the face for the wild thing. And we're just going to start coloring. So I'm using a sort of brown, light brown sort of yellow. And if you have a dark brown, you can use that too. I'm just going to color everywhere. You can use marker. I'm using crayon today. I like the different shades that you can build on, what colors are. Crayons have so many different colors that you can find the perfect one for your mask. I'm just going to go around and around, getting all the nooks and crannies. Remember to press a little bit harder so that you can see the color. If you're too light, it won't show up. Cover as much of the paper plate as you can. You can even press down. Don't worry about bending it or it getting out of shape. Perfect. I'm just going to go over it one more time to make sure it's consistent. I change the same color all over. Getting everywhere and that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take a little bit of my tape. I'm just going to flip it over. And I'm just going to tape this part here so that it's closed. No one's going to see it, but we just want to make sure that it's strong enough for when we make our mask. Perfect. That looks really good. So the next thing we're going to do is take our template of the Wild Thing face. And what I do know is that his nose is a little bit orangey, a little bit brown. So what I'm going to do is take my orange marker and fill in my wild things nose. Just like so. Then I might take a darker brown crayon, if I have one. You could use marker too, and just kind of change the color a little bit over the top. You'll notice it gets a little bit darker and a little less orange, and that's what I'm going for. Very nice. And you could even take the other one and put it on top and then you get a different kind of nose. That looks good to me. Now I know that my wild thing's eyes are brown and yellow all the way around. So I'm going to take my yellow and just color all the way around leaving this part of the eye blank. So around we go, just like so. And the other eye the same. And again, you can use crayons, markers. We just want to fill in as best we can. And then I'm going to take my brown and do this part of the eye. Starting to look like a wild thing for sure. 
Perfect. Look at that fill in. That looks really good. Wonderful. Now I'm going to leave my teeth blank because they're already white. So now what I want to do is I want to take my scissors again and I want to very carefully, I'm just going to cut around my eyes and I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut them out. So let's go ahead and do that together. Very gently watching my fingers as usual. Slowly when we do circles, because they're a little trickier. But once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quickly. Again, we've got a second eye we're going to cut out, looking good. There we go. Put my excess on the side, and now for my nose. Get my nose and cut around my nose. My fingers are out of the way. And I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. Good job. Lastly, we're going to be cutting out our mouth. So leave a little bit of room because we're going to be gluing this on. So we want to leave enough so that the glue has something to stick to. And very carefully in and out of the triangles. Now this might take a little bit more time but we are not in a rush. We want to make sure that our hands are out of the way. There we go. Back and forth. Watching your hands and your fingers. Safe craft crafting is the best kind of crafting. There we go. And lastly, one more to make the teeth. I'm going to take my craft excess paper and put it to the side so we can start gluing on our pieces. All right, let's take our glue and let's start gluing on our pieces. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is put on my eyes. So turning over to the wrong side, take your eyeball and start gluing it on right here. Pressing it down. Wonderful. This one needs to be changed out, so I'm going to grab another glue. Actually, I can just put the glue right here, too. Putting my eyeball on, making sure they're around the same size and position. Next is our nose. I love this nose so much. So we're going to glue that on like so. Then we are going to look at our teeth. So let's turn our teeth to the wrong side too. Our mouth and our teeth gluing on wherever we can. Make sure that if you're crafting without a craft board that you have a piece of paper underneath you when you're gluing so that you don't ruin any tables along the way. I like leaving the teeth a little bit unglued too so that they pop a little bit. That looks really cool. Okay, good. I'm gonna grab my black marker and just make a little line here, just like the character. Now that I've got that, I'm going to take my brown construction paper. Now I could take my scissors, but instead, because this is a wild thing, I'm just going to make some strips. I just tear strips of my paper randomly. They don't have to be perfect. We're just going to glue them on and they're going to become the hair that goes around. Now if you had a brown paper bag, you could also use a brown paper bag for the hair as well. So I'm just going to be going around like this. Some can be longer. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's take our glue and put on a little bit of glue and then start gluing on the pieces around the face. Oopsie. There we go. Just like so. That one wanted to hop on there by itself. 
I'm just going to go around the whole mask. And I like that some bits are curly and others are straight. It's a little bit wild. Just how we like it. There we go. If you want to break it apart more or add more on top, that's totally fine. Keep going around, making sure you have enough glue. And really pressing down so nothing falls off. It's a little bit of an odd shape for the paper plate, so we've got to get in all the nooks and crannies. Break that up. Oh, I like that curl. A little bit there. Now I'm going to have to create a few more. But before I do, I'll just put my glue on to grab the piece of paper again and create some more pieces as we go. That is good. Pressing down, making sure nothing falls off. guy Oops. you can always go back over it again you could also put extra layers if you want to to make it extra thick that looks really neat now the last thing that I'm going to do actually I'm missing something I'm missing ears so you know this piece of paper that we had that was on our paper plate let's just make two little triangles the triangles have three sides I'm just going to make two of them. They don't have to be perfect. We just want to cut them out and add ears to our wild thing. Again, I'm being very careful with my fingers and my scissors. And I like how we're using the extra bits of craft paper that we thought we'd just recycle. We're actually using them, which is really great. Perfect. Making sure everything is on there. Great, and oh my goodness, everything's trying to run away. We're gonna put it on the wrong side again. And just put our ears right on our mask. Good job, I like that. So the last thing we're gonna do is flip it on over and take our popsicle stick and put our popsicle stick like so. If you have glue, you can add glue. You could also add a little piece of tape to keep it in place so that you can hold your mask up. Put three pieces of tape to make sure it's super secure. And I like that. Now, some pieces might fall off. That's okay. I'm just going to go back in and put an extra little piece over here of glue and glue them back on. And there is your wild thing mask. That's pretty awesome. I can't wait to see yours. I hope you use it to have fun. Storytelling and playing. Send me a picture. I'll see you next time.